This, my friends, is their QE Storm Star. So this comes from an American hunting brand, but hunting connection aside, will this make a, a good tent for backpacking in four seasons? So let's have a little look-see. Big shout out to my friend Andrew, who's loaned me in this tent. It's his tent, he highly recommended it and suggested I have a little look-see at it. So, first impressions, it's a, a fairly beefy package, poles separately. These aren't the actual pegs, he's got the pegs, so I'm just using some out of another tent. This weighs around 1800 grams poles, of which there are four DA see feather light 9.3 millimeters weigh around 600 grams and the pegs weigh there 200 grams and on the QE site it says the the full weight is 2665 and that's what I, I weighed it as there's the dimensions of it packed 51 centimeters Pole bag around 48, diameter there, shall we say 17. So if you wanted to, to compress it down into a, say the bottom of a rucksack, you'd have to put it into a different bag. Pitches all in one together and you could start by pitching the four corners. Did I say four poles? There's three. This is the centre pole marked with uh, darker tips and I love it when poles have this smooth end on. NFL green. Comes with a repair sleeve. Really, really beefy. CPAC reinforced material that's built for sales apparently, it's non-stretch, the heavy duty PVC and then really beefy material at the bottom, even with the draining hole. So once you got to this point here, you could start to put the guys out and you're effectively pitching it from the, the ground upwards. That, my friends, is pitched, so there's no sections on this tent that are left exposed to the wind. I didn't quite have enough pegs, so I've taken that corner one out there. Even at the end panels here, there's a little pitching point. Not got enough pegs with me, but that is super solid. That is the, uh, the firmest feel to any tent that uh, I've ever pitched, and that's been quite a few. So, yeah, absolute bomber. And I wouldn't advocate mistreating any tent at all, but you get the feeling this could take some uh, robust use, shall we say. So there's two ventilation points, zippered, and there's a, a stiffener inside here. So let's get those open. On either side, the outer material is 30D ripstop nylon with sil nylon, siliconized coating on the outside, and I believe PU on the inside. The inner tent is also 30D, and that's got a DWR coating on it, and is also ripstop material. Just a simple toggle tie back on the door. Quick to do, but slider, quite nice. 
and there's an Osprey 35 litre rucksack lying on its side. So it's an oval shaped door. First look on the inside. Shoes off, let's get in. The ground sheet's a 40D siliconized and PEU coated, so that's a foot deep. So you'd have a lot of confidence there regarding pitching in any uh, wet snow. So there's double pockets in all of these corners. Nice steep walls, comfortable place to be. And on each door here, there's a midi net and an inner door too. Slightly fiddly though. And of course, another vestibule the other side. And the idea of this sea pack, the sail material that goes over the poles, is it doesn't uh, stretch so unlike an ordinary sill nylon tent that would just flop down so at this end it's 140 centimeters and that end is 117 and the length I make it to be there two meters so it's not super generous inside but it would make a fantastic one-man tent and a cozy two-man tent so I'm 185 centimeters so I'll really extend myself up as if I was on a mat and there's the drink test all fine nice place to be if I lie down give my feet a little bit of space just got space for my head there, but I'm a side sleeper, that wouldn't be a problem. And there's access zips on the roof here, through to the vents. Those vents haven't got a midi net on, nor has that inner. So if you were to vent, you would have access for the critters. I like this uh, QE logo here with the, the ram's head, and there's a little elasticated gear nest there. Okay. There'd be room to cook in here. And you could have bags on the other side and like a, a living space there that is a double zip so you can vent from the top you're not allowed in mate it's not my tent you're not allowed in camp buddy in modest conditions you could easily pitch it without the guys out each door zip has two velcro flaps over it. Looks pretty stealthy in the woods here. Not too obtrusive at all. They do a different colour where the dark brown panel at the top is all orange which looks pretty slick. But that's the, definitely the stealthier colour. So it would be a fantastic four season 
UK any conditions tent. It would stand snow, be weatherproof, be windproof. Can't see it flapping because it's so solid. So the only uh, detraction points I can think of is the internal length. I'd fit in fine. Uh, me and another consenting adult would be fine. Me, another adult and the dog. Mm. Uh, and the other thing is no netting on the ventilation. So if you had those open and a light inside, it would uh, attract insects, but no tent's perfect. And this one is nigh on damn near perfect for price-wise for four season conditions. The weight's acceptable at 2665. Uh, all the tents that I've got that come close but not as bomber are all well over three kilos. Okay, let's pop this down. Something I had, had read that the poles can get trapped in these triangular ends here and it can pull the end off. But I also saw that the solution is to just give that a little bit of a pinch and it slides out easy. So would I buy the Kiwi Stormstar at £589? Yes, in a heartbeat. I'm going to have to sell something else first though. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Leave no trace. I like it.